Before you buy your first set of golf clubs, what beginners need to think about before spending money on golf clubs? All right, so I can sum up my advice to first time golf club buyers this way. When shopping for your first set of clubs, it's generally better to underspend than to overspend. After all, once you know that you'll be a long-term golfer, you'll have plenty of time to upgrade if you think it's necessary later on, right? What factors should you consider before buying your first set of golf clubs? Here are some things to keep in mind when you should start shopping for your very first golf set. Before spending, identify your golf goals. Decide on your goals before you go shopping because identifying realistic goals will make shopping much easier. For example, if you are taking up the game just so you can play twice a year with your brother-in-law, there's no need to spend much time, effort, or money on picking out clubs. If you are wildly enthusiastic about golf and plan on playing every chance you get, your sights can be set higher. Honestly assess your level of interest and dedication. Before you can determine how much you're willing to spend and on what caliber of clubs, you must honestly assess your dedication. Will you be practicing much? Are you willing to take golf lessons? If you answer no, or probably not, then cheaper clubs are the way to go. Answering yes could be a sign that you're not aiming too high if you want something more expensive. New clubs versus used clubs. If you're unsure of your dedication to golf or if you have a history of taking up a hobby only to drop it later, Used clubs might be a good choice. They'll be much cheaper, of course, than new, and because they'll be so much cheaper, they can be easily replaced later. Set your budget. Golf clubs can be very expensive. How much you're willing to spend might be tied to how dedicated to the game you think you'll be. On the other hand, if you have plenty of money to spend and want top-of-the-line equipment, well, go for it. A good option for many beginners, however, is looking for an inexpensive first set. That way, if you don't follow through with the game, you haven't wasted much money. Understanding shaft options. Two basics of golf shafts that beginners should pay most attention to are shaft composition, steel or graphite, and shaft flex, how much the shaft bends during the swing. Graphite is lighter and can help generate swing speed. Steel is cheaper. Women and seniors will most likely benefit from graphite shafts with the softer flex. Younger, stronger men might go with regular or stiff shafts, but keep in mind that most teaching pros say many golfers use shafts that are too stiff. What about club fitting? If your first set of clubs is going to be a new one, you might consider a club fitting. Many teaching pros do an in-depth club fitting that lasts 30 to 45 minutes. If you don't do that, then being measured in a pro shop to make sure the clubs you choose are well suited to your body type won't hurt. The standard off the shelf length for golf clubs corresponds to a male who is five foot 10. If you are around that size, then standard will probably work just fine. If much shorter or taller, get fitted. I didn't know this information. This is gold right here. The clubs can make golf easier. There's no substitute for a good golf swing, but brand new golfers can make it easier on themselves by choosing clubs that are geared to higher handicappers, also known as game improvement clubs. Choose irons that are perimeter weighted and cavity backed. Look at hybrid sets where the long irons and sometimes mid irons are replaced by hybrid clubs. Get a driver with more loft, not less, paying no attention at all to what the tour players are using. Focus on clubs with low centers of gravity and high moments of inertia. Okay, any staffer at a decent golf pro shop can help you choose clubs that fit your skill level. Ask around and shop around. Ask your friends who golf for their recommendations. Walk into a pro shop and ask for advice. Ask your friendly neighborhood golf pro. What would they recommend for someone like you? It's a great way to get ideas. When you're finally ready to shop, make sure to shop around. Price and selection can vary from one pro shop or department store or garage sale or whatever to another. Identify your price range and stick to clubs you can afford.